Oh, before you go in there... Good. Unposed. Candid. I love it. Mr. McDermott, I'm Gary Marsh. This is Brian Norcross, the photographer on the campaign. We'd like to thank you very much for going along with us on this. Could you excuse me for a minute? They're here for a new ad campaign for the Cabot Hotels. They want to stress the personal touch, and Charles Cabot called to let you know you're to be the focus of the St. Gregory's print ads. Well, if he called about all this, why didn't I know it? He just called five minutes ago. How very Charles. And they want to use me in these ads? I hate this. I really hate this. Remember, we need his support for the new renovation budget. Anything else I should know? Oh, you asked me to remind you about Linda Davis. I set the Orleans suite aside for her. Linda Davis? Yeah, the kid's sister of a guy I grew up with. It's a tomboy, pigtails, freckles. She used to beat up on me. Her brother asked me to show her around the city. Why today you have in store? Photographers, tomboys. All right, turn this way a little bit. Chin up. More. All right, now smile. Smile. A little more. Uh-uh. Do you think you could be a little looser, Peter? A little more relaxed? I'm not a model, Gary. <laughs> He's telling us. Couldn't you just take a picture of the staircase without me on it? Now, the thrust of the campaign is the personal touch. It's the service, the smiles, and the people who make the St. Gregory so special, you see? Uh-huh. All right, let's try it again. You're doing great. Okay, here we go. No, <laughs> sorry. He's sweating. Touch up. On the way. Hey, I have a hotel to run, and I can't do that and play poster boy at the same time. I'm sorry to interrupt, but these work orders need your approval. Hey, no, it's fine, Christine. Can we take a break, fellas? Thank you. Gary! Where have you been, man? I've been looking all over for you. What are you so happy about? We've got a million-dollar campaign slipping through our hands all because McDermott won't say cheese. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe not. Now, all we need is somebody who represents the St. Gregory, right? Somebody who's look and say, stay with us, and you're going to want to do just that. Am I right? Right. Check these out. Christine Francis? Yes. It's joking. No joke. We think that you'd be perfect. The camera loves you. Well, the hotel needs me. What about Charles Cabot? I already cleared it with Charles. He thinks it's a wonderful idea. He's wrong. Well, you tell him that. Christine, it's for the St. Gregory. Oh, dirty pool, Peter. You know, that's the only argument I can't fight. Greg, we'll start tonight with some skyline shots from the penthouse. You don't mind, do you, Peter? Mm -mm. I do. I don't want to run you out of your suite. It's okay, really. I got that old friend to show around anyway. Perfect. Say about 8 o'clock? Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> Perfect. Now, look a little this way. Is there a problem? It's my fault, Brian. She caught me staring. <laughs> Can't say I blame you. All right, look, I gotta reload anyway. Now, just don't go anywhere. I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. No, no, not at all. Well, a little. I think you'd be used to getting looked at. A woman as beautiful as you are. <laughs> okay, now you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Have dinner with me tomorrow night. I can't. Somebody else? Well, not really. The truth is, I'm not sure. I guess complicated. Well, maybe an uncomplicated dinner is just what you need. Let's 
remember why we're here, shall we? <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. A little bit more. All right. Look to him. Give him the look. That's the look. Look back to me. Back to me. Chin up. Oh, good. All right, now, just a bit more smile. No, no, that, that's too much. I want friendly, but not too friendly. You know what I mean? Somewhere between the Mona Lisa and Bozo the Clown? It's a fine line. Cross it if you dare. <laughs> All right, now, I want you to act as if you were really in charge here, okay? I am really in charge. Where did you get him? So what about that dinner tonight? I'm sorry. What about dinner? You promised me an answer. Christine, I'm afraid I won't have those new contracts to you till sometime in the morning. I have plans tonight. Well, tomorrow will be just fine. About dinner. I'd love to. Great. That's the look. That's the look. Give me Dexter Gordon on the sax. Ella Fitzgerald with the microphone and a beautiful woman to share my table. I'm a happy man. We had Ella here last year. What a voice. I'm glad you like jazz. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't know. You me this evening. <laughs> it's just more difficult than I remembered. I listen to myself and I sound like Barbara Walters. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Nervous? Yes. Well, you shouldn't be. We're going to have a great time together tonight. When do you say we toast to that? Something wrong? Your ring. I never noticed it before. Is that a wedding ring? Is that a problem? A problem? All of this attention, the compliments, the wine, and you're married. I never said I wasn't. The ring has been here all along. I never thought to look. What can I say? I'm out of practice. Christine, if I've been reading you right, you're not looking for a commitment now any more than I am. Just a, a good time, a little fun. Am I wrong? I'm not looking for a relationship, that's for sure, but... But you said it yourself. Every conversation we've had has been more like an interview. I feel like I'm being auditioned as a replacement for Peter McDermott. You know about Peter? I'd have to be blind not to. I think this evening has been a mistake for both of us. As far as I'm concerned, it's over. If you want to stay, stay. And try the souffle, the house specialty. <laughs> 